You know, the people of Austin woke up this morning with their nightmare finally over. The news that the serial bomber was dead. But this investigation continues apace today, and not too far from where I am, a few miles away in Pflugerville, is where Mark Condit lived. And right now, police have large areas of that small suburban town cordoned off and evacuated. It would appear that they are concerned about the possible presence of further explosive devices, either in the home that Condit apparently shared with two roommates or in the immediate surrounding area. So they continue to talk to those roommates. They continue to talk to Condit's immediate family members. None of those are suspects in this case, and apparently they are all being cooperative. And the governor of Texas says investigators also to continue to pour over Condit's online presence looking for clues. Listen here. He did not destroy his digital footprint. It's my understanding that he, he went dark. He kind of closed down access to his accounts that made it more difficult externally for us to be able to tap into it. Uh, but I think there is a treasure trove of information uh, in his house as well as uh, the digital information that should shed light more upon who he is, what he was doing, why he was doing it. The, the bomber's biggest mistake appears to have been using a FedEx store to mail at least some of the packages. He was caught on more than a dozen surveillance cameras that are mounted within that store. He was wearing a wig and wearing gloves, as you can see in these pictures from the surveillance cameras. Uh, but investigators were able to get a positive ID on him. That meant they had an ID of the vehicle he was driving. That meant that they had his cell phone number. Those two things came together last night, right where I'm standing, Dana. Uh, they tracked him down using cell phone triangulation to the parking lot of the Red Roof Inn right behind me. They found him sitting in his car. He started to drive away. A SWAT team moved in. They pinned the vehicle uh, in, and at that point, officers began moving towards it. It was then, apparently, that Condit detonated an explosive device within the vehicle and killed himself. A couple of hours ago, we saw that vehicle, which as far as we could tell was an older model Nissan Pathfinder, dark red in color, being driven away along the freeway right behind me here with a police escort. That obviously will be another treasure trove of material for investigators to look at as they continue to look into the motive here.